What's up, it's your boy Eldra, and I'm back with another video. So today's video, we're going back into GarageBand, but this time I got an iPad. Basically today we're gonna be chopping samples on GarageBand for iOS. So that means your iPhone, your iPad, whatever, we chopping samples on there. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so there's a few different ways to get your samples into GarageBand for iOS. So the easy way that I'm about to do right now is if you have a Mac, all you have to do is, go. Oh, I'm gonna choose my lo-fi sample pack right now. All you have to do is go to the file, open it up and airdrop it, simple as that. So I'm airdropping it to the iPad right now. Boom, hit accept. And it's literally as simple as that. Go to on my iPad, GarageBand, GarageBand file transfer and hit add. So now when you go to GarageBand, you open up that same folder. There you see LJ Lo-Fi Samples Volume 1. There it is, boom, you got my melodies, drums, and all the textures. Everything that's in that folder is now added until the iPad. So that's the simplest way if you have Mac. But if you don't have access to a Mac, another way is that same process except through email. So let's say you have a friend who has some kids, has some samples, just have them email you some samples or go to a computer. If you don't have a computer, find somebody with a computer and just go download some samples from somewhere. Go buy my sample packs, you know what I'm saying? And then email us. So I'll show you that process real quick. So right here, I already emailed something to myself. Once you download the attachment, you're just gonna click it. You're gonna hit share and you're gonna go save to files. So once you save to files, go to on my iPad, GarageBand, GarageBand file transfer. Maybe if you wanna add a new folder, you can just go through the files app and do that, but then you just hit add. Same exact process, now it's in there. The third way, if you don't have a laptop at all and you can't find one at all, just download a download manager app on the app store. So I'm pretty sure that, you know, these apps where you can go, they have their own browser, you search up a web page go to like Loopmaster or somewhere, download or buy some sample packs, and it'll be the same process. Once you download it, there's gonna be a share button, you hit files, and then you put it in your GarageBand folder. If you want me to do a more in-depth video on this, just leave a comment below and I'll show you. Now we go into GarageBand, open up a new a new song. Um, you're gonna to wanna to open up an audio track, like a recording track, and then you'll hit this loop function right here. Let's hear this. Now let's do something else. Um, just gonna go to the sample pack. Melodies, I'm gonna pick, let's try this one. Almost Cried. Hold that, drag it over. Uh, one thing you're gonna wanna take note of is the tempo. Always know the tempo of this because that's where things get really difficult because there's no loop feature. The easiest way is to just stay in the exact same tempo. So yeah, maybe I'll make a more advanced version of this where we get into some tempo changes, but for right now, we're just gonna keep it simple. Uh, the tempo is that is 90. To chop it, I'd say it's best to zoom in a bit so you can really see the bars here. You know, right here, that's one bar, two bars, three, whatever. So now it's four, so it's four bars basically. And you can either chop it by bar or you can chop it by one half a bar or one fourth of a bar. I'm gonna go with one fourth. Now what I just did isn't 100% necessary, but it's, kind of a more simple way so you can just start rearranging stuff however you want but if you already have a good ear for exactly what you want you can just specifically chop the parts that you want to chop let's double the beginning make it like a stutter so delete the second part copy and then paste yeah I like that so Something you can do is maybe reverse one of these. So you hit settings and then reverse. See how that sounds. 
I like that. All right, so now that you got a simple chop, one thing you might want to do is join it. So you won't have to be working with these small pieces. But you can't just join it like you would normally do with a MIDI track. You'll select all of it, tap, and then you'll be able to hit join. You can't do that with audio file. So what you want to do with the audio file is you're going to tap it, duplicate it. And then you're going to want to hit merge. Tap the merge, boom, merge. I don't know about you, but when I sample, I don't like for it to sound exactly how the original sample sound. Let's throw some effects on it. So one thing I like to do is change the pitch. So you go right over here, hit plugin and EQ, hit edit, hit plus, and then audio unit extensions. Here is where you see all these extra little effects and you're gonna wanna go to AU new pitch. So you click that and the pitch scales right here. So some drums now so the tempo is at is 90 let's find a drum loop that's 90 let's go with this drag that in there So let's say I don't like how it goes right here. Let's get rid of that. Let's bring in Uh, hit tap this hit merge oh wait can you do it without oh you don't even have to duplicate tracks I gave you wrong information you just hit merge all right let's throw in a texture since it's some lo-fi right now um, I don't know which one to use let's just do nature Turn it down a bit. Some reverb. All right, that's it. Those are the basics on how to chop up samples in GarageBand for iOS. So I showed you how to import them. I showed you how to, you know, chop them up, slice them, join them, put some effects on them, everything you need to do pretty much. So yeah, just uh, leave a comment below if you want to see a more advanced because I kept that one super simple, super basic for all you beginners out there. But if you want something more advanced, maybe I could chop a sample with like vocals, or you know something with some tempo changes or something like that just leave a comment below also let me know if you want to see a full video on how to import all your sounds in there each way that you can do it but yeah if you like this video make sure you leave a thumbs up hit that subscribe button really appreciate it oh yeah and thank you for 5,000. i just realized i hit that the other day so thank you everybody who subscribed yeah other than that uh go stream my music more music coming soon and follow me on instagram at lj the giant also twitter at lj the giant and lj out